karibu kwenye channel ya Dr. Mero Lectures tunafundisha masomo ya sayansi, physics, chemistry, mathematics pamoja na biology kwa syllabus ya Tanzania na kwa level pamoja na advanced level. Dr. Mero Lectures for your better next exams performance. Subscribe, share and like this video. Welcome back friends. This is coordination session 5 and this is advanced biology. So uh, in the previous period we ended up looking at the uh, the flow of information in the neuron and we looked at the function of the neuron. So in this period I am going to, uh, to proceed with the types of neurons as I promised you in the previous session. Uh, so we have two categories of classification of neurons for our level. Uh, kwanza tuna classify neurons according to function and then we classify neurons according to shape. So according to function, neurons they are classified into three major categories which are sensory neurons, uh, motor neurons and interneurons. Uh, sometimes these neurons they have different names which are used interchangeably. Uh, but don't get confused because of these names because I know if you pass through your form 3 biology, uh, you know the the interchangeable of this name how are they use the interchangeable so all of, of three have different function but the brain needs all of them to communicate effectively with the rest of the body and vice versa so it ubongo is ubongo ubongo the the organ which control all activities of the body so in order for the brain to control all activities of the body it requires all three types of neurons in order to function Kwayo, uh, the first type is sensory neuron. Uh, as its name suggests, sensory means it correct sensory information. Sensory information is zipi, is in a talker from the environment. Uh, environment uh, who are to define a is surrounding uh, can be internal or external environment. Internal environment is surrounding of the cell, kama mbavo ni isema kunyawana among the previous session. Internal environment is surrounding of the cell. Kwayo, internal environment ni tunaita intracellular fluid uh, ni intracellular uh, ni extracellular fluid internal environment ni extracellular fluid au interstitial fluid uh, the fluid around the cell in the internal environment and tukavuna kusoma homeostasis ukombele tanda kuna kwamba in homeostasis we are maintaining the uh, composition of the uh, interstitial fluid either composition of sodium water or other ions Ah, uh, lakini tunavosema external environment, external environment ni surrounding of the organism. Kwa hiyo organism is who surrounding yake, labda kuna air, kuna co that is the external environment. So sensory neurons they always co uh, collect information from the environment, either internal or external environment. Uh, sensory neurons tunaita they are neurons responsible for combating external stimulus from the environment into corresponding internal stimulus. Uh, sometimes the stimulus can be internal because hata ndani ya mwili unaweza kuta temperature may change due to fever that see stimulus and the information can be carried by the neurons to the uh, respective part of the brain ko uh, the stimulus uh, is not necessary to be external sometimes stimulus inaweza kuwa internal yani imetoka ndani ya mwili so kinachofanyika ni kwamba sensory neuron inabadilisha impulse kwenda kwa nini stimulus inabadilisha stimulus kwenda kwenye impulse inabadilisha stimulus kwenda kwenye impulse stimulus ni kile kitu raising temperature siyo decreasing temperature siyo nja that is stimulus kwa mfano unaona njaa that is stimulus uh, one among the parts of the hypothalamus in a stimulate uh, in a stimulate mechanism ndio una kuja kuona njaa the information is sent to the brain however hypothalamus is also the part of the brain like any information is sent to the respective part of the brain then when you have information kwamba now you feel thirst or you feel hunger so that is the internal uh, stimulus lakini like imekuwa converted kwenda kwenye impulse nerve cell high baby stimulus nerve cell na beba impulse so what the sensory neurons do always in a co connect to the receptors receptors in a way of convert stimulus into uh, the impulse and then that impulse is carried by the sensory neurons as we shall see uh, kwenye diagram ya bombere so they are activated by the sensory input and send projections to the other elements of the new nervous system ultimately 
conveying sensory information to the brain or spinal cord. Unlike the motor neurons of the central nervous system, whose input come from the other neurons. Kwa hiyo, uh, uh, motor neurons input yake natoka kwenye other neurons. While sensory neuron input yake natoka api? Kwenye receptors. So unlike motor neurons, sensory neurons are activated by physical modalities. Physical modalities such as, such as visible light, muanga kuongezeka au kupungua, sound, hii sauti naongea, heat, physical contact, etc. That is it, sensory neuron. Or by chemical signals such as smell and taste. Uh, so you can see kwamba uh, the sensory neurons they are connected to the receptors uh, instead of being connected to the uh, other nerve. Kwa sensory neurons they nachukua information toa kwa nani? Kwa receptor then they nasendi kwenda wapi? Uh, kwenda kwenye central nerve system. That the major function of the sensory neurons. Uh, lakini, kitu chengina mba chantokia ujua ni kwamba most sensory neurons they are pseudonipolar. Pseudonipolar. Pseudonipolar manake nini? tanda kuona kwa mbele uh, how the pseudonipolar neurons uh, they appear we shall see later in the classification of neurons according to shape we shall see how the pseudonipolar neurons they appear but one thing you should know is that sensory neurons they are pseudonipolar and now let's move to the motor neurons motor neurons they are neurons located in the central nervous system uh, and they project their axon outside the central nervous system kwa hiyo motor neurons zinachukua information from the central nervous system kuzipeleka nje ya central nervous system either direct or indirect so motor neurons they take information from the central nervous system to the muscles so muscles au kama sio muscles in effect yet na effect always anakuwa ni muscles au ni gland so the interface between a motor neuron and a muscle fiber is specialized synapse called a neuromuscular junction it tunaenda kuiona na study synapse tunaenda kuona or the structure of neuromuscular junction and how does it perform its work so the structure of the motor neuron is multipolar always motor neurons in a kwani multipolar motor neurons in a chukua information toka kwa neuron zake na always it is always from the interneurons so sensory neurons they are sometimes called afferent neurons uh, where the motor neurons uh, motor neurons are sometimes called efferent uh, efferent neurons neurons uh, efferent neurons so you see sensory neurons they are called afferent while motor neuron efferent and motor neuron they are always multipolar so we shall see later how the multipolar neuron they they appear and then uh, let's move to the to the interneurons let's move to the interneurons sometimes they are called lili or association neuron so all of these terms they can be used interchangeably and don't be, get confused if you see these terminology in here different parts of your studies so interneurons rely uh, sometimes they could rely or association neuron interneuron are neither sensory nor motor they are neither sensory nor motor rather they act as middlemen they act as middlemen uh, that form connection between the other two types so the interneuron they connect between the sensory and the motor neuron uh, they are located in the central nervous system they operate locally meaning the axon connect only with nearby sensory or motor neurons our uh, interneurons uh, wanafanya kazi to save time and therefore prevent injury by sending message to the spinal cord and back instead of the all the way to the brain like motor neuron the ya multipolar instruct so interneuron wanna save time kwa sababu gani wao wanachukua information to in sensory wana ipeleka kwenye brain very fast then wana bring it back to the motor neurons na hapo sio one neuron kuna kuna connection of many neurons uh, they they function together at the same time so you see this diagram represents the connection of these three types of neurons. We have the dendrites of the sensory neuron here. So sensory neurons carry the, uh, the information uh, from the dendrites then to the cell body. Now you see the structure of the sensory neuron and the cell body is at the center there. And the, this is what we call uh, as you, uh, the pseudonipolar. I mean the, uh, the cell body is there and then we have only one, only one like the uh, axon comes there and then divides to the dendrite and then to the axon. So information goes to the cell body then from the cell body to the axon. Then from there we have the association or the lili neuron or intermediate neuron. Then the, the lili neuron which is present in the central nervous system uh, after the interpretation the impasse by the central nervous system the lili neuron carry the impasse again to the, uh, the motor neuron. Then the dendrite of the motor neuron carry the impasse back to the effector. 
So the diagram below here illustrates well how it occur. As the sensor neuron they are connected to the receptors. You see this diagram A it is the sensor neuron connected to the receptors. So these they are sensor receptors and we will discuss them later in, uh, in the in the later sessions we will discuss about the uh, about the receptors, uh, types of receptors and how are they functioning? We'll see about it. a few receptors. How are they functioning? So, sensory neurons in a core connected to a receptor. Is in a beba impasse. Our receptor and on a chuka impasse to the environment. Then on a pereka impasse to the central nervous system. And then from there, the uh, motor neuron they carry impasse from the central nervous system to the effector. You see, the neuromuscular junction uh, is the synapse between the motor neuron and the muscle which is the effector. So, you see, the sensory neuron they are connected there. Uh, to the sensor receptor and the motor neuron they are connected to the effect then the light neuron connects between the sensor and motor neuron uh, if you will read this information they they explain what I have been explained in the in the diagram uh, now let's go to the second classification of the nerve cells which is classification of the nerve cells according to shape uh, according to shape we have four types of neurons which are unipolar neuron bipolar pseudo unipolar and the multipolar neurons so starting with unipolar neuron, unipolar neuron are the most common neuron in invertebrates. Kwa hiyo invertebrates ni wala nyama mbaha wana uchi wa mgongo. And most of the animals which do not possess the uh, vertebral column uchi wa mgongo wana kuwa uh, neuron sudhake the unipolar. These neurons are characterized by one primary projection that serves as both axon and dendrite. Uh, in the diagram, uh, the unipolar neuron they appear like this. Now you see? We have nucleus and then we have only a single projection. This is the direction of the nerve impulse. So you see, uh, in this neuron, you see there is no dendrite, no axon. This acts as the dendron, also act as the as the axon. This is what we, we call as the unipolar neuron. And then number two, we have the bipolar neuron. You see how the bipolar neuron occur? Bipolar neuron, we have, uh, we have two projections. We have one of the projection is axon and another projection in the dendron are uh, with the dendrites. So you see, uh, the information uh, comes from the dendrites, passes through the nucleus and then to the to the effector. And this is what we say the structure of the motor neurons and the intermediate neuron, they, they appear as a bipolar. So bipolar neurons, each having axon that transmits signal from the cell body going to the brain and the spinal cord, and dendrites that send signal from the body organs to the cell body. So these bipolar neurons are usually found in sense organs such as eye, nose, and ear. Uh, we shall discuss later about uh, uh, the structure of the eye and the structure of the ear. While we to advance to some other structure, each of them is structure skill. Kwa tutenda kuona hizo bipolar neurons ni zikani za mfanya kazi hapa kwenjicho na skill. Lakini pia tulisema motor neurons they are always bipolar and the lying neurons they are always bipolar. From there let's go to the pseudo unipolar neurons. Uh, they resemble unipolar neurons because each of them has axon, but no true dendrites. However, pseudo-unipolar neurons are actually variant of bipolar neuron. The reason for this is that the same axon attached to the cell body proceeds to opposite poles or direction, one towards the muscle or joint and skin, and the other towards the spinal cord. Pseudo-unipolar neurons are responsible for the sense of touch, pain, and pressure sense of touch, pain and depression. We shall see later about the receptors and then we will discuss about few receptors. Uh, few receptors and bono sika katika sense of touch, pain and pressure. Kono na pseudo unipolar neurons, huko anakuwa na projection moja in the nucleus, projection yake anakuwa moja. Lakini you see later the projection divides into two. So if the projection if divide into two, uh, this diagram is taken from my understanding biology book. Na unazo kono kamba inakwaja wanachola huko na huko lakini Hapa kina chumanisho ni kwamba one among the projection here hapa neze kakati kama dendrite. Uh, impulse ina come from this projection, comes to the cell body and then uh, another another projection acted the, uh, another projection acted the axon, then impulse ina enda kwa kwenye effect. That is the pseudo. Pseudo manake ni kama uongo, force. Tanda kuona watu wakombe. Pseudo means force. So na vizema pseudo ni pola neurons manake ni, they appear as unipolar but they are not unipolar, pseudo unipolar. They are false unipolar. Actually, they are not unipolar. So, uh, the last type of neurons is the multipolar neurons. Uh, they are dominating neurons in, in vertebrates in terms of number. So, neuron nyingi sana kunyanyama nyuto mgongo, they are 
multiple neurons. These neurons, they are the one that are, are closest to the model neuron that we usually see in neuron structure diagram. Each of them has a cell body, a long axon and a short dendrite. So you see, uh, we have a single axon and then we have a uh, cell body, then we have many dendrites. These, all of these, they are dendrites. Then cell body, one axon, which is the direction of neighboring past the axon terminal. So this uh, diagram uh, represents the classification of neuron according to uh, according to structure. And then we have one thing that we call the unique cell. Kuna baze ya seri ambazo zenye hazirikani hata ziko kwenye gundigani. They are unique cell kwa sabu structure haki hai resemble na any type of neuron. Lakini pia hizi cell ziko kwenye brain, uh, pia ziko kwenye central nervous system. So... Of course, in the common neurons, they are neurons in structure, but actually, actually they are not glial. They are not glial cells. They are neurons in structure, but actually in common vire has been done in a structure. So these are dozens. There are dozens of neurons that possess very unique structure. They are neurons, but they they have unique structure. Thus, the researchers explain that these could be a hundred or more types of neurons in the central nervous system. No matter what it is, common unique cells. Uh, this unique brain cell include pyramidal neuron that is a cell body featuring a triangular pyramid shape. Iso pyramidal uh, pyramidal neuron cell body yake inakuwa ni pyramid inakuwa ni kama triangle. Uh, pyramidal neuron are found in the prefrontal cortex. Hata kama uji prefrontal cortex hiyo ni ni ni, ni moja kati ya sehemu uh, kati ya sehemu ya brain kati ya sehemu uh, ya brain for brain. I mean ni moja kati ya sehemu ya cerebral cerebrum cerebrum uh, lakini some other unique neuron include basket cells uh, ambazo hizi ziko kwenye cortical neuron, eh, neurons pia kuna double bucket cells hizi ni inhibitory neurons kuna spin neurons found in the stratum and the cortex input receivers ah uh, hizo vingine unaweza hata usizielewe hizo stratum kwa sababu hizo ni layers za brain ambazo kwa level yako ya advanced ulisome Layers of brain, you get any layers of parts of the brain, quite a very quite advanced system, so no need to know them. Uh, Kuna nyingine get any area of the limbic system, we to remember where we do. Then you have Chalendia neurons, which are any vital neurons, you have Pukinje cells, and both these in a tree like neurons located in the cerebellum. Go to put a compa kuna climbing fibers, vitu to nivingi, not to scope Marisa Viota. So let's end up here in the session of the structure and the classification of neurons according to structure and shape. Uh, let's meet in the next session where we'll be discussing about the adaptation of neurons and we shall jump to the uh, glial cells. we we'll start discussing about the glial cells. So thank you everybody. Subscribe to the channel and share this video to your fellow students uh, for more updates in advanced biology, advanced physics, mathematics and chemistry. Thank you everybody. And I wish you nice studies. Asante kwa kuangalia channel ya Dr. Mlela. Ninaamini umeelewa kipindi na kama hujaelewa chochote waweza kucomment hapo chini. Click link ya kwenye description kujoin Telegram group kwa ajili ya discussion. Usisahau kusubscribe, kushare video kwa marafiki pamoja na kulike video hii.